Okay, let's finesse a scale bar in ArcGIS Pro. My personal opinion on scale bars is that they should be as simple graphically as possible so that you're not competing with anything on the map. They're there just to give us a sense for the scale. They don't need to become a dynamic um, visual or graphic element on the page, unless you're making a kind of a thematic map that has style and, and kind of um, personality to it. So let's just insert the standard scale bar. This seems like a really good spot for it. Um, the first thing we want to think about is when you set up your page, how big do you want your scale bar? And then get a sense for um, the units and what a good value would be. Um, I definitely don't want awkward divisions like 30 and 60 miles. So a nice round 100 mile scale bar would be perfect here. Right click to go into the properties. Um, what I would do is um, head over to this second tab, and instead of a fitting strategy of adjusting the division value, let's adjust the width, which allows us to access the divisions. Um, because the division is the halfway point, I'm going to change that to 50. That gives us an even 100 miles. So now if I zoom in and out on the map, it's going to stay at 100 miles, but the scale bar will just get bigger and smaller. Um, but that uh, prevents me from having to mess around with getting this back to exactly 100. Um, okay, so um, the second thing I like to do is under the marks, just try not having any. And then we can get rid of um, these and we could just have a single label, 100 miles. Um, it's not exactly centered over the bar because of the units. And you could, there are definitely ways to adjust this, but what if we converted this to a graphic and then ungrouped it? Oopsie, I went one too far. Right click, um, ungroup, and then we just picked up our text. I'm gonna shift click, and then let's just scooch it over a little bit. So it looks centered. Okay, so super simple, right? Very clean, um, kind of sophisticated, uh, simple graphic element on the page. Um, so let's backtrack a little bit. I'm going to control Z to go back. Um, this, is, this is fine, but we don't need this kind of detail. So another thing that you could do to just clean this up a little bit uh, sorry, properties, um, is not label uh, the first midpoint there, but you could just have the ends in zero. Um, you still don't need all these divisions. No one is going to sit here and go, okay, so from here to here, but if I just, no, get rid of them. Um, the other thing is you could just have the divisions, uh, and then we could get rid of the marks, and that's just down here in the marks, and we could just have um, something simpler like that, or just the divisions. Um, the other thing that you could do is uh, change the length here to drop. It's the length of the mark, but that's really the height, um, just so that they're not so graphic, but we're still getting a little, a little sense of, you know, some divisions here. 